Hey, what's going on? How are you? Good, good. Wow, so today's my lucky day. Welcome to POV Casting Couch. Hi. Who do we have here? My name is Lucky Star. Two R's. Lucky Star. Yeah. Wow, you're gorgeous. Thank you. So to all the fans out there, what made you decide to get into porn? <laughs> well, funny you should mention that, because I moved to California to be an actress. So we all see the tragic end in that story, don't we? Moved out here to be an actress, things aren't going so hot, lose your job waiting tables, and mm, let's just start doing porn. And the thing is, at the time, I was actually engaged to another man that at the time he said, uh, he, he loved watching me fuck other guys. So at the time he said, wow, that would be really hot. But then once I got into it, he started resenting me and we started fighting all the time and all this other stuff. So needless to say, that relationship ended. So, but my, I kept going mm -hmm. and I don't even know where he is or what he's doing now, but that's how I started. Got it. Yeah. How do you like it so far? I love it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I love it because, I don't know, it's just, okay. Do you ever have one of those jobs where you just get out of the bed and can't wait to get to work that day? Mm -hmm. That's porn. Like wow. it's just like Christmas a day. Yeah, I'll work. Yeah, sure. You know because um, you know it's the only job where you know you're gonna get laid by some hot guy that day. I mean you can't. It's a win-win situation. It really is. So awesome, <laughs> awesome that you look at it that way. Yeah. Very cool. So let me ask you some sexual questions because all the fans out there love hearing all the juicy you know, sexual stuff that you like, that okay. what turns you on. Sure. So let's start off with your favorite position. Uh, I'm from the Midwest, Midwest, so uh, we like missionary out there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty standard, you can't go wrong, it never gets old. Yeah, so missionary is my favorite. Missionary is your favorite? Yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. how old when you lost your virginity? I was 16. I could have lost it way earlier, by the way, because I was a very sexual person at a very early age. So I um, started giving blowjobs at 13. He was 16, so it wasn't, so it wasn't like one of those illegal things. He was, it was, yeah, but um, I, I learned about sex from watching porn, mm -hmm. and, uh, but I didn't actually lose until I was 16, and he was my high school sweetheart, and I actually, I wanted to wait until I was in love, and I was in love with him, so that's the way to do it, kids. <laughs> Don't think like you owe someone anything, so. Yeah. Got it, got it. Very cool. Thank you. So how many, let me ask you this, have you been with girls in your personal life? I have actually, yeah. Um, but it didn't even really start until I went into the industry because uh, like I was kind of afraid to do it. I didn't quite know, but actually with the ex-fiance that um, you know was in it with me when I got into porn, we found the swinger couple. And I've never done, like, a lot. I mean, so it was my first, with the swinger couple, it was like, boy, boy, girl, 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 boy, girl, girl, no boy, boy. But, you know, I, I was, it was kind of this crash course. And, you know, it was my first time being with a woman. And, uh, you know, it was kind of scary. You know, you just kind of go down there mm -hmm. and you're just like, am I in the right ballpark? Anything? <laughs> and, uh... After a while, I mean, you, you just start getting used to it, but one thing, women, I mean, their body parts, they're, they're so different, like, they come in different shapes and sizes, colors, and that sort of thing. I'm still getting used to it, but it, it's more sensual, it's more um, softer, uh, it's definitely not who's your daddy, it can be, it can be, but you gotta find some rough chick to do that, but I would say it's a lot more sensual than, than sex with a man. Got it. Yeah. Let me ask you this, what, what is the wildest thing you've ever done in your personal life. No lie in your personal life. Sexually? Mm -hmm. I went to a swingers club. Okay. <laughs> and I was like the flavor of the month that day. Because um, it just, I was, first of all, like, like I was walking around in this silky teddy and guys were just swarming just to see where I'd land because I wanted to get in on it, of course. So, um, but the thing is, I was with my ex-fiance at the time. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden we saw this like, really good looking cowboy and he turned out to be you know from utah and you know he was mormon so so he's watching me have sex with this guy and he started freaking out because because of his religion so i'm like oh god i turn around look at this card i go is anyone here not mormon 
And this guy like raised his hand and go, you come here. And he starts going down on me. And before I knew it, it was like, jump in, jump in, jump in. And there was like hands and tongues and feet in my mouth and everything was everywhere. Wow. And you know, it was all good. It was wow. all good. <laughs> So how many guys did you end up having fun you with? No, I don't night? even know. I wow. don't, like I said, it was just like a big ass free for all, and I was just like the main course. Got it. <laughs> Have you done gangbangs in your personal life? In my personal life, ah, uh, you know what? I've just done with two, but I've done that like a lot, like a lot. Like um, one time, I was in this gay bar in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> And um, these guys just took me into their uh, dressing room, and they one I was bent. They bent me over a sink, and then all of a wow. sudden, one came this way, one came the other way, and then they were done. They pushed me back out of the club, and I was like, oh, oh, oh I'm so violated. Oh no, it was fine. It was wow, good. that yeah. is hot. Yeah, and that that's not Does the that first time that on? happened. Um, it it did at the time. Yeah. Got it. Not anymore. Uh, yeah. No, it's just it's like one of those things where it's just like been there, done that, got the T-shirt. But at the time, it was a, uh, it was, it was, educational. Got it. But sometimes multiple partners are like, okay, who's next? You, 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 you. Okay, you come here. You go over there. Like, like it gets confusing when when you have like, all guys and me. So, Got it. But it's nice that I'm the center of the attention. So. What's your sexual fantasy? Oh gosh, I think I've done everything. Oh yeah, I have one. I want to have uh, sex, um, with my man on a, a stage, but like a big stage like we're talking like Hollywood Bowl big it doesn't have to have an audience but there's just something I like about if I know they have the acoustics that my my orgasms will just carry all the way to the back row lights you know maybe my hair and makeup done just just something really cool like that but I've never done that S strangely enough <laughs> Very cool. Very, anything fetishy that you like to do? Any sexual kinks that you oh, like to honestly? do to men? Yeah. And be honest. I am, I'll your, be honest, but, but I like to eat ass. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. I guess because you can get the biggest, toughest, roughest guy. Muscles for days, but my, when my tongue is in his ass... Their legs up up in there. Flexed! <laughs> like, like happy baby position, like this. <laughs> and they become my bitch. Suddenly... They, they're just put into their place with my tongue in their ass. Got it. That yeah. is hot. I, I didn't really <laughs> look at it that way. Yeah. It's hot. It is. Yeah. Any other things that turn you on that's fetishy? Oh, gosh. Um, this is cool. I'm getting to know you. I, I you know, it's a little, little naughtiness here and there. Maybe I don't mind a hand here as long as I don't lose consciousness. Uh, you know, just a little naughty. It's a little spanking, but as long as I don't go flying through the wall, it's all good. Right. Um, other than that, you know, it's, I just like, I'm a, a chameleon, first of all. If okay. you want to be like soft and romantic, yeah, that's good. But the second you slap my ass and call me a whore, I'm like, it's on. Let's go. <laughs> Got mm, it. Take it. Bring it. Bring it. I'll take it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Where can your, you know, all the fans out there that love your, love this scene or love your scene can get a hold of you or see you? Twitter is the best way. Twitter. So okay. it's at Club Lucky Star, like club, like beat me with a bat. Club mm. Lucky with a Y, star with two R's. Okay. And that's the best way for people to get a hold of me because I don't really accept any other way. <laughs> Got it. Any other sites you want to promote? Uh, anything else um, you want to promote? Let's see. You could go to my uh, blog, which is luckystar1, the number one, dot mm. livejournal.com. It's, it's, it's so no holds barred, me telling everything about my life, the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay. But I have a lot of fans reading that. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So let's stand up. Let's show okay. all the fans out there your beautiful body. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, they're going to see a lot of my stuff. <laughs> On the tube sites. <laughs>